you've heard the saying, the one that got away. For one Minnesota angler, that meant his prized walleye flopped its way into a storm drain. But as Kevin Wallavin reports, this fishtail is quite the ending. Sean Grimm had just rolled into town. After a good walleye catch, where had you been fishing? I can't tell you that. <laughs> on a nearby lake. It's like I had this gorgeous 22-inch walleye, which, you know what, that's as big as you keep. Everything else goes back in. The Valley City native comes home often to fish and always hits his favorite haunts like Pizza Corner Pizza. Four, four and a half pound walleye. You know, it's a nice fish and it's big. A good photo op. So all of a, I'm holding this fish, getting ready and stuff like that, and all of a sudden it flip flops onto the street. Okay, not a big deal. I go down to grab it, boom, 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 right into the, you know, the drain sewer. It's like, you've got to be kidding me. This sure sounds like a great fishing story, but is there proof? We talked with area businesses, no security footage, but recently the Valley City Police Department installed traffic cameras and those cameras captured it all. We showed Sean the traffic cam video of the fish flop. Yeah, that was it. That was the, the you've got to be kidding moment right there. Sean, a seasoned angler with his own fishing license plates. But that's lit. So, you know, I can see through the slots here. You can see the light coming through and I can see the fish. You know, it's flopping. Wasn't going to let this walleye go. What do you do with this? I'm going, maybe it's just like a big manhole cover, you know? Maybe I can lift this, you know, thing up and, you know, of course I grab it. It's like, that's going nowhere. That's going nowhere. So I, I'm sitting there, I'm thinking, it's like, mm. And so, so I go over to my car and I pull out, go into my tackle box and I pull out a Rapala, right? Three treble hooks, this thing catches fish. Is it gonna catch fish in a storm sewer? We're gonna find out, right? He did what any angler would do. I'm sitting here trying to snag, and I snag it. I get the fish. It's like, oh, and then it pops out. It's like, okay. It's possible. Sure enough, the traffic camera recorded Sean using his rod and reel and treble hook to try and catch that walleye again. So then I go back in, I'm going at it again, going at it again, and I hook into it. It's like, okay, this seems pretty solid. At first, it looked like failure. Trying to hook this walleye a second time. Pull it up slowly, grab the fish by the back of the head, and slowly pull it out of the deal. So then we stand up, we take the picture away from the gutter, right? Success. The final photo and a fish story for the ages. Even the goofiest things like fish down a drain, it's like you got that story. And it's like sometimes it's even better than the fish you caught. Sorry. A great fish tale, quite the reenactment, too. That was Kevin Wallavin reporting. Walleye season is underway in Minnesota through next February. You'll find rules and regulations on the DNR's website.